welcome to another GEMDS training video. In this video, we will be covering how to establish an Ike V2 VPN tunnel to the Orbit MCR from Microsoft Windows. This video is part four of a multi-part series of IPsec videos. If you have not viewed the previous videos yet, please do so now. First, let's go over some of the key items that must be completed. The first thing that needs to be done is to import the X509 certificates into the Orbit MCR. If you are unsure how to do this, please see our video on this topic. Next, we will need to configure the VPN service, which includes the Ike policy, Ike peers, IPsec policy, and IPsec connections, configuring the firewall service, which includes configuring a cell IP address set, a local NETS address set, a remote NETS address set, the input filter, the output filter, and a NAT rule. Next, we will configure the cell interface by verifying the correct input firewall filter is being used, the correct output firewall filter is being used, and the correct NAT rule is being used. After logging into the Orbit MCR, expand the Services tab. Then click on VPN. Then click Basic Config. Expand the Ike tab. Scroll down to Ike Policy, then press Add. Give your Ike policy a name. Then press Add. For Ike version, select Ike v2. For auth method, select pub key. Then select the PKI checkbox. Under cert type, select RSA. For the cert ID, select the cert that you've loaded. Then for your key ID, select the key that belongs to that cert. And then for CA cert ID, select the CA that signed the client cert. Under Cypher Suite, press Add. Then give your Cypher Suite a name. Then press Add. In this example, we want to select AES 256 CBC. Then for the MAC algorithm, we'll select SHA 384. Then we'll select DH2 for the DH group. Then select Finish. Then finish again. Under Ike Peer, select Add. Then give your Ike Peer a name. Then press Add. Under Ike Policy, select the Windows Ike Policy name we created earlier. Now under Peer Endpoint, you'll click the drop down and select Any, and then select the Any checkbox. Then click Finish. That looks good. Now I'll expand the IPsec tab. Under IPsec policy, click Add, then give your IPsec policy a name. Then under Cypher Suite, click Add, and give the IPsec Cypher Suite a name. Then click Add. 
For the encryption algorithm, again we'll select AES 256 CVC. Then for the MAC algorithm, we'll select SHA 1. And for the DH group, we'll leave that blank. Then click Finish. Then finish again. Now under IPsec connection, we'll press add. Then we'll give the IPsec connection a name. Then click add. Now we'll select the Ike peer we previously created. And press OK. And we'll select the IPsec policy we previously created. Now for input filter, we'll select in trusted, then press OK. For the output filter, we'll select out trusted, then press OK. Now under connection type, select the drop down, then select host to net. In the local IP subnet box, we'll enter the local IP subnet that you wish to be part of the tunnel. Then click Finish. Now if we save here, we're going to get a message saying we're missing one piece. If we go back down into the IPsec connection, there'll be a new parameter that we need to select. In the drop-down, select From Pool. Now we need to give the Windows clients an IP address pool. In this case, we'll just give it 192.168.100.0.24. Now click Finish. Then we'll press Save again. Now that we've configured IPsec, let's review the firewall configuration. From the home screen, if you expand Interfaces, then click on Cell. Then go to Basic Config. Then Filter. And just verify that the input filter and output filter are in untrusted and out untrusted. Then under NAT, depending on your system, you may or may not have a source NAT rule here. Please see our video on IPsec configuration via the web interface for more information. Next we'll want to go to Wizards, then the Firewall Wizard, then click Next. First we want to look at in untrusted, then click edit, then scroll down. At a minimum for IPsec, you need the following two rules applied. Under type UDP, destination will be the service Ike, and that will be set to accept. Then another one of type ESP, and that will also be set to accept. Now if we go back, and then select Out Untrusted, then press Edit. Here your configuration may differ a little. At the very least you need a rule for cell IP, and then you may or may not have the next rule.
If you do have the following rule, the local nets must match any local nets on the orbit that you wish to be part of the tunnel, and the remote nets should be set to not address set, and then any remote subnets tied to IPsec tunnels. In our case, the second one is the important one for the Windows VPN. As you can see, that's the same subnet that we specified in our pool earlier. If you had to make any changes here, don't forget to save. Now that the orbit is configured, let's take a look at Windows. The first thing you will want to do is open the Run dialog, then type MMC, then press Enter. Next you want to go to File, then Add Remove Snap-in, select Certificates, then Add, then make sure computer account is selected. This is extremely important. Then press next. Finish that. Press OK. And we want to open certificates. Then go into personal. Go to all tasks. Import. Then next. Then browse to your P12 file or PFX. Select that. Then press open. Then press next. Type in the password, then press Next. Make sure you select the Automatically Select a Certificate Store. Then Next, then Finish. Looks good. Let's hit F5 to refresh the page. Now let's expand that and go into Certificates. Looks like our certificate was successfully imported. Let's just verify that our root CA is in there. It's at the bottom. Let's check that with the, uh, the certificate. All right, that looks good. Now that we've imported the certificate into Windows, let's create the VPN connection. Network and Sharing Center. Select Set up a new connection, then connect to a workplace. If you already have some, just select No. Use my internet connection. Now for the internet address, this is going to be the public IP address that was assigned to your orbit. So type that IP address in. Then give the VPN connection a name. Then at the bottom, select Don't Connect Now. Then press Next. Then Create. Hit Close. Now we'll go into Change Adapter Settings. We'll right click on the new VPN connection we created and go to Properties. Here you'll see your public IP. Now if you go to Security, we'll select Ike v2. Then the bottom radio button, we'll select Use Machine Certificates. Then we'll go to Networking. And uncheck IPv6, then press OK. Now right-click on that connection and hit Connect. Looks like we're successful. Let's look at the status of this connection to make sure. Looks like it's connected. Let's look at details. There's the IP address from the pool we created. You have successfully connected to the Orbit MCR from Windows. Thank you for watching another GEMDS training video. For more information, please check out our other videos or visit our website at GEMDS.com.